Hello again and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes, coming once more with another response video where we work to counter the ridiculous amount of misinformation that unfortunately is incredibly widespread around the internet. Let's shine a spotlight on Australia, which has the largest numbers of crawlies and gigantic scary creatures, from monster crocs to violent sharks. Now I have no idea where that information came from, probably their own behind, but I highly doubt that Australia has the largest number of crawlies, if you're going to call them that, whatever. The majority of Australia's land is arid or semi-arid, and habitats such as this are not known to host a huge diversity of organisms when compared to tropical environments such as rainforests. As such, continents such as South America, which are much more rainforest heavy, are almost certainly likely to harbour a greater number of so-called crawlies than Australia. We wonder how the 25 million people in the country have managed to stay alive. Hey, I live near there. Oh, I hope no one's stalking this channel. But, well, how do I live in Australia? Obviously, I can't speak for all 25,000 of us, but living here for me is perfectly ordinary. I eat, sleep, breathe, that one's really important. Uh, I go to school without worrying about getting shot, which is an added bonus, and yeah. Ultimately, if you don't live out in the outback, it's a pretty normal country. With all the menacing and creepy creatures making their rounds in this territory. And two out of the three animals shown here are certainly not found in Australia. The centipede is Scolopendra subspinipes, which is found in the Pacific Islands, parts of Asia, and is also introduced to some other regions, such as Hawaii. The spider on the right is a member of the genus Phonutria, commonly known as the Brazilian wandering spiders, which are found in Central and, of course, South America. Are you fearless? Would you take a trip to Australia? I dare you to watch this video to the end, then answer that question. Yeah, you can trust me on this. It takes a lot more bravery to suffer through watching this shit to the end than it does to live in Australia. Number 10. Giant White Sharks. Okay, I'd like to remind you that the title of this video is 10 Terrifying Creatures of the Outback. Now, unless you're a time traveller who just visited the Eramanga Sea, I don't think you will have seen any sharks in the outback. You know, an area that's kind of famous for lacking water. In these specific places, razor-toothed underwater sharks will hunt you down. And this here is why sharks have a bad reputation. No, they do not hunt people down. Sometimes they're just a tad curious, and you can't really grudge them, we are the ones going into their territory after all. These sharks are quite intimidating in size and are responsible for 900 violent attacks since the 18th century. Okay, when you first hear that, that definitely sounds a bit intimidating. But quite a lot of time has elapsed since the 18th century. So when you spread that out, really shark attacks are not all that frequent. Number 9. Tiger Snake the land is also not safe. Here you'll find even more menacing reptiles. Both of the snakes shown here are misidentified. The one on the left is Aspidites ramsei, commonly known as the Woma python, which is harmless. The one on the right is an Acanthophis species, also known as a death adder, which are dangerous, but, you know, still the wrong species. Watch out, or else this reptile will get you. Well, look at that, another video that makes it out as if snakes are actually out to attack humans. You would think at this point that it would be pretty common knowledge that snakes want absolutely nothing to do with us and only bite when they feel threatened. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird in this video, I'm kind of recovering from a cold. Some of these tiger snakes have been known to get into the smaller towns and cities, such as Melbourne. Ah yes, smaller towns and cities, like the capital of Victoria. Good to see they've done their research. So, the bottom line is, folks in Australia need to stay in their houses at night. Well, this video would make a great Minecraft survival guide. Just remember to tell us not to dig straight down as well. Number 8. Redback Spider Australia is renowned for its crazy deadly spiders that are found all over the place. Like the rest of the crawlies in this beautiful land, the spiders are found in pretty much all locations in Australia. 
So yes, redback spiders are very widespread across Australia, but they are more the exception than the rule. The majority of animals are a lot more specialised in terms of their requirements, and their distributions are consequently far more localised. Redback spiders, due to being highly adaptable, are able to flourish across the entirety of the continent. This is, of course, not the case for most of our other species. Only one fatal case has ever been recorded. This was in 2016, and it involved a 10-year-old boy. There has actually been more than one fatality associated with redback bites. However, the 2016 case was the only recent one that happened after the introduction of the antivenom. The child shown here was not the victim of that bite. He made the news for getting bitten by a mature male Atrax robustus, or Sydney funnel web, and while he did require more antivenom than any other funnel web bite victim in recorded history, he did survive the ordeal. Number 7. Australian Centipede. Ha <laughs> ha, looking forward to this. Next up we have the Giant Centipede. Now of course here is yet another reason why common names should be avoided. I have no idea what species he's referring to when he says giant centipede. Though I think it's pretty safe to assume that our friend here is referring to Ethmostigmus rub ripes, which is Australia's larger centipede species and an animal that any followers of this channel are going to be very familiar with. The giant, as a description, is in no way an understatement. The centipede being shown here is Scolopendra leta, which is not giant by any stretch of the imagination. This centipede is six inches long, and I say that without flinching. When was the last time you saw a centipede that long? Uh, about five seconds ago when I looked at the shelf sitting right next to me. Now there's a couple of extra flaws here. First things first, the centipede being shown is Cormocephalus aurantiapes, which is, I mean, bigger than Scolopendra later, but again, not a giant. Ethmostigmus rubripres gets significantly larger than 15 centimetres, with 17 centimetres being a fairly common size for some locales, and occasional individuals exceeding 20 centimetres. And 5 inches is hardly a staggering size for a centipede. There are many species, namely those in the genera Ethmostigmus and Scolopendra, that get much bigger than that. It can take out a snake. If that's not enough, it also has 26 pairs of legs. The giant centipedes in the genera Scolopendra and Ethmostigmus have 21 pairs of legs as opposed to 26. If you're in doubt, then just count the leg pairs on this image and don't forget the terminal legs. It's supposedly the largest Australian and Asian centipede to ever walk the face of the earth. Okay, now I know for sure that they're talking about Ethmostigmus rub ripes. With the exception of that overdramatic last line, that is word for word what the Wikipedia entries for the species used to describe, until it was changed by yours truly. While Ethmostigmus rub ripes is indeed the largest Australian centipede, it is most certainly not the biggest centipede in Asia. That title likely goes to Scolopendra dehani. Its appearance is also very creepy, and it acts creepy by only coming out at night and going into hiding during the day. What's with this creature playing the nocturnal card on us? Okay, what exactly is so weird about being nocturnal? And there are plenty of animals out there that are almost universally not considered creepy by humans that have nocturnal lifestyles. This guy seems like he's getting pretty desperate to make things sound scary. They are scavengers during the night. Partially true, mostly false, which let's face it is basically a summary of this video. Centipedes definitely will scavenge, they're very opportunistic animals, highly generalistic, but they will predominantly hunt and subdue live prey. Number 6. Saltwater Crocodile Now, I wasn't able to find many glaring flaws in the section on crocodiles. Granted, that could be because I am not overly knowledgeable about them, but also admittedly because crocodiles are genuinely quite dangerous. It means that, unlike many other Australian animals, you don't need to add a whole lot of bullshit to hype them up. Number 5. King Brown Snake, Moga. This snake will send chills and shudders down your spine. Okay, calm down with all the stock videos. This guy doesn't even look scared, he looks like he was auditioning for the role of Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. This very reason is why flying across the world to Aussie is not such a good idea. Ah yes, don't come to this country because of a snake that hasn't killed anyone in half a century. 
Also, the word Aussie tends to refer to something that comes from Australia and is not a shorthand term for the country itself. Matter of fact, remove that location from your bucket list. You just can't handle it. If you're in Victoria or Tasmania, you're safe. Anywhere else, this creature will get you. Again, with the hyperbolic language. These snakes are not interested in getting us. They want nothing to do with humans. They will flee from our presence at every chance they get and only bite in self-defense. Number four, funnel web spider. Hey, buckle up fellas and let's watch these guys try to make a fat useless spider that can't climb out of a plate sound scary. I love funnel webs very much. When you think of Sydney, happy thoughts come to mind. Finding Nemo and the Opera House, among other iconic places. Happiness and Finding Nemo. Uh, Barracuda, anyone? This is the funnel web spider, which has its original home in Sydney, Australia. Well, it looks like we have yet another video that fails to acknowledge the fact that there are many other funnel web species besides Atrax robustus. Honestly, it's a tad surprising. I always thought these fear-mongering videos would have a field day with Hadronici formidabilis. I mean, it's literally a funnel web the size of a tarantula. We keep on saying that Sydney is not your ideal travel destination, and it's not for the faint-hearted. It's for the fearless. No matter where in the world you live, be it here in Australia or somewhere else, if spiders are anywhere close to the top of your fears, then you really gotta sort out your priorities. This sinister creature has one hell of a temper. When caught up in a situation where the natural reaction is to retreat, these creatures tend to defend themselves and are seemingly very aggressive. Keyword seemingly. They're defensive, not aggressive. Hence why in pretty much every video where a funnel web is shown threat posing, it is being deliberately provoked in order to induce that behavior. If one day it decides that you're the next victim, watch out. And under what kind of circumstances is that going to happen? Am I just going to magically turn into an insect one day, because that's the only time a funnel web would be interested in attacking me? It has fangs which are quite elaborate and longer than any other. The largest fangs of any spider belong to the Theraphosa species from South America. And of course the largest fangs of any funnel web belong to Hadronici formidabilis. If by chance you do not have access to the antivenom, the bite from a funnel web spider is fatal. Potentially. Over 80% of recorded bites from Sydney funnel webs did not cause severe symptoms. Number three, Hercules moth. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? A freaking moth is on this list? Okay, I don't even think I need to go into detail here because I think it's pretty common knowledge moths are not remotely dangerous. So, you know, skip, I guess. Number two, Eastern Brown Snake. This one is better known as a deadly Eastern Brown Snake. Ah yes, the Eastern Brown Snake, better known as the Eastern Brown Snake. Did these guys re-watch their video at all before uploading? And number one, Blue Ring Octopus. At first- And finishing off this video that is supposedly about creatures of the outback, we have yet another aquatic animal. It's pretty small in size, with a diameter of 5 inches. The diameter is the width across the entire animal. What is being shown here is the length of the octopus's visceral mass. The blue rings are only visible on the octopus when it experiences a fit of rage. When this happens, the venom from this octopus is released. Blue ringed octopuses don't just release their toxins into the environment when threatened, they deliver it via a bite. So. Are you still set on going to Australia, or did we just talk you out of it? Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment. Well, I'm certainly sharing and commenting, just probably not in the way you want it. Anyway, that is the end of another reaction video, and it felt good to be branching out a bit beyond just the usual spiders when it comes to these. And on an unrelated note, sorry about this upload being somewhat delayed. It had to be pushed back due to a combination of me being sick, having two assignments due, and the championship event for the cross country boys I coach. So yeah, pretty busy couple of weeks for me. Anyway, that is it. So if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other content. Thank you all very much for watching. That's it from me, and I'll see you again very soon.